Another day of adventure on the way to Brisbane today. I remember the last trip to Brisbane 11 years ago. And as a result, I'm eagerly anticipating this visit. My old friend Jed is my guide and an excellent one too. Coffee is my drink of choice. So we enjoy a coffee amidst the skyscrapers in the fabled land of Oz. So what makes for a good trip? Good company? Okay, I have that. Not sure about if Jed does, but I'm doing my best. A great place to visit? I can tick that box. Good weather? Two ticks. A language I can understand? No worries, mate. I love boats and rivers, and I remember the renowned city cat from the last trip. So where do we board? Riverside. Off we go, doing the tourist thing with people from as far away as Wagga Wagga, who I've heard get culture shock when they visit here. There's a square building there. Wow, just one. And there's the iconic Story Bridge. Did you know it's a twin of the Jacques Cartier Bridge in Montreal, Canada? Brisbane has 283 days of sunshine a year and winter days rarely dip below 20 degrees Celsius. The original Aboriginal name was Mianjin, which means place shaped like a spike, which probably refers to the shape of the nearby offshore islands. A river trip gives the visitor an opportunity to see a little of the city. For many locals, this is the bus service. And as we progress, Jed points out the places of interest. And we chat about everything from the price of properties to the state of Aussie cricket. Didn't see any sharks. No joke. The river is home to a large population of bull sharks the swimming is only allowed at meal times if we agree to be put on the menu. The sharks are known to be aggressive and can grow up to three meters in length. All the way from Italy, a delightful family enjoying the trip with us. On a day like today, it's beautiful and we get fascinating sights along the way. Pianoa ring town. Just a small ship, 11 decks, 2,000 passengers. And much less hassle than going by plane. The city cat only cost $5.60 Australian for two hours. That's US $4. The best bargain in town for the tourist. It's a real joy to take this trip. Really enjoyable. The look on my face says it all. We went down the river and back, stopping several times along the way. I want to live there. So back to the city center. It's time to eat. We found a nice restaurant right on the river, overlooking the bridge. Ordered seafood and sat and watched the world go by. Reminds me of my days in New Orleans a long time ago when I lived in Jamaica.
After eating, Jed wanted to take me to a place where drones were allowed. But unfortunately, the bridge was closed, so we diverted to a nearby shore so that we could get the bird's eye view of the city. The shots were great. I actually wanted to send it over the bridge, but guess what? At this very moment, it started to rain. The rain can actually be seen coming in. So I hurriedly brought it home. Looking back on the day, we had had another great day in the land of Oz. Next time, a visit to the Glasshouse Mountains, where nobody throws stones.